Do you know if you start your day by chugging a liter of water, it can even out your cortisol levels? I don't even know what that is. It's good for you. It's like having post-nut clarity. I don't know, man. I don't know anything about your levels, but I think saying you have a quarter soul is like generous. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I'd say you have about like 10% left. Thanks. I don't think chugging any amount of water is going to save you. I had a lot of post nut clarity yesterday. A lot of it? Yeah. What do you mean? I posted my nuts on my B-reel and the comments were bad. Uh, I had a lot of clarity. Yeah. And I shouldn't okay. have done that. <laughs> right. Uh, but, <laughs> that should have been clear from the start. Yeah. yeah. It was a funny picture though. It was just like me driving and then they like popped them out of my zipper uh-huh. and they did not like it. People said, this is bad. Don't post this kind of stuff on the internet. Unfollowed. Unsubscribed. <laughs> stuff like that. And I was like, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, you're a public person. You definitely should not be posting your nuts. Yeah, people call anyway. me a, people call me a predator. Right, totally. Ton of stuff. I yeah. think that's warranted, man. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's bad. Can you imagine the post nut clarity I would have as someone who's allergic to nuts? Oh my god, you'd be dead. You'd see Jesus. I'd see the light yeah. and all that. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, wow, oh. it's also clear now. <laughs> yeah, everything's so clear. I should have been better. <laughs> yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about this, and sorry to keep the tangent going because it feels like we should go back to the bracket, but yeah, real quick, guys. I was thinking about like if heaven and hell and all that stuff is real <laughs> right okay <laughs> and i show up in hell yeah i'd be like all right you guys are so weird like that this like for this being real like this is so weird what's wrong with you guys like i'm gonna suffer for eternity yeah because i jacked off and drank <laughs> like like isn't that a bit overkill like you know what i mean yeah. like i get it but it's like for sure like come on every single part of my brain chemistry tells me to drink and have sex like yeah. everybody's so that's like what everybody likes to do <laughs> yeah. and then now i gotta do fire and brimstone and the grinding of teeth forever yeah. i don't want to do that you know what they say in the bible though them the rules they don't say that in the Bible. Matthew 444. <laughs> I'm just saying, if hell is real, y'all are fucking weird. <laughs> Be cool, though, if you got to see, like, molten metal being poured in Hitler's ass. Oh, yeah. You'd at least <laughs> like that. You'd be like, am I next? I don't want to go. But that, is, that, is that him? And he's like, he's, like, chilled out. Yeah, he's, like, he's been there for a while. <laughs> yeah. I would go for three days. Yeah, long weekend. <laughs> yeah, just see what it's all about. Oh, you know? the river of blood. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's like a Splash Mountain. <laughs> oh, my high school bully's here. Oh, my God. That's that makes know. sense. <laughs> he was not a nice guy. You we were homophobic. <laughs> the homophobic people are in heaven. Right. <laughs> Three, two, one. Boss Baby 2. Harley Quinn. This is Birds of Prey. That's what I had! <laughs> I had that one written down, God! Why, God? Why would you do that to me? You thought it was Harley Quinn. You were wrong. Just let me trust myself sometimes, big guy. Jesus! I mean, fuck, man! Of course it was Bees of P. Shut the fuck up. He just, just whispered in my ear, bankroll Hayden. <laughs> I think it's bankroll Hayden. That's what I think it is. Write it. Write it. Write it. Bank. Let me get it. Bankroll Hayden. Broke up with a country girl, me and my Dolly Parton. And I don't know for sure if like Southern people call their girlfriends or significant others their Dolly. Oh, they do, doll. But it, it works. Oh, you look at you. You are just a doll. Yeah. It'd be like, thanks. Oh, who's your? <laughs> No, you are a handsome young man. Is this your dolly here? Oh, thank you. Yes, it is. It's a Cabbage Patch doll. I've had it since I was four. Keeps me through the hard times. Oh, now this is a nice painting. Melting clocks and the like. Is this your dolly here? Yeah, it is my dolly. It's an original. I stole it from the Louvre. You seem like just an interesting young man. I'm a war criminal and a looter. I would like to have you sexually. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Bend it over, baby. Well, all right. <laughs> when do I? When do I? Should I moan or no, 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 no noise from me? No, 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 no noise from you. No, no noise from you. <laughs> okay. It's kind of tradition that the man don't make no sound. You're as sweet as sweet tea, you old bag. The name is Cranial, which makes me think that their original name is Branial. Branial, yeah. Which is not a be. name yeah, either. That's crazy. <laughs> Branial. It's Cranial now. Mom, I told you I'm a Crip. It's Cranial now. <laughs> I'm a Grape Street Crip. <laughs> I don't care if you need to be Branial. I'm Cranial now. <laughs> Your family's having guests over. All right, Branial's going through a little phase. He says he's a Grape Street Crip. So if you could just call him Cranial, otherwise he's going to flip out and he'll ruin dinner. He comes downstairs waving a flag. He goes, what up, cut? <laughs> He's crib walking in like loafers. <laughs> the cool uncle's like, hey, Cran, show me that crib walk again. Let me try it. <laughs> show me the girl from LSU, Olivia Dunn. That is not included. Olivia Dunn. 
baby Gronk raised her up. Did you see that? <laughs> Stop. What? Stop what? When you talk all young, it's funny. Baby Gronk rizzed up <laughs> Livy Dunn at his visit to LSU. She reciprocated L Riz. <laughs> yeah. Man, if the president can text everyone, why won't he text me back? I don't I don't know. He can text everyone whenever he wants, and I can't get a fucking message back. It just seems crazy, doesn't it? No, it's like a dumb thought. Really? He has a machine that he can text everyone on. And I, he can't text me? What's up, dude? Because he just texts like, we're in trouble. If people don't get out to vote for the midterms or whatever, you know, yeah. that's the stuff he texts. And he's not good at texting because he's old as hell. Who's baby Gronk? <laughs> who's, who's baby Gronk? Livy Dunn, raised up by Astro Speed. <laughs> good for speed. He finally met Ronaldo. That's a huge moment in Twitch history. He did the suey with... With Ronaldo. Honestly, one of the best character arcs ever. XQC shouldn't have to apologize. He's got more money than Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy shit. Mr. Beast could have been on that submarine. <laughs> wow, he was actually invited. Now, wait a minute. If Mr. Beast was invited on the submarine, why is the text blue? Blue is for the outgoing text, not the incoming. And now Curtis Connor says he was invited on the actual Titanic. <laughs> That's just funny. <laughs> he seems like a charming guy. I'm happy for him and his wife. <laughs> Is Mike still on Impulsive? <laughs> oh, meant to text that into Google. <laughs> I Spice carried the Barbie soundtrack. Wait a minute. Riley from Hivemon predicted the Ice Spice remix, <laughs> Ice Spice Baby, with Tyga. <laughs> Shouldn't he get royalties for that? I feel like he should get at least a songwriting credit on Spotify. I tried to play ski ball and my mom popped out of the middle hole. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She mm. said, you were a terrible son. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> were, I still am. <laughs> Word. <laughs> <laughs> Word. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> you were a terrible son. You go, word? <laughs> oh, word. <laughs> oh, word. <laughs> word. I did not know. I thought I was I. Right. <laughs> That's a great thing to say at like an intervention, too. Hey, listen, we've, we've all gathered here because we care about you. Oh, word? <laughs> Y'all care about me? Pass me a beer. <laughs> What's that face? What's your problem? I'm thinking about ripping your nose ring out with a string. That's what I'm thinking about. Why would you do that? Well, because I want to catch it with like a fish hook, kind of while you're not looking, like you're sitting there working, and I kind of come in over here and it just kind of, and then you're like, <laughs> what was that? And then I go, <laughs> and I rip it out. You realize that would hurt me a lot. Oh yeah, lots of pain. Blood too, your nose bleeds like a little sucker. Like a little sucker? Yeah, bleed, the bleeding little sucker. Why would you want to do that to me? It's just like a sick fantasy in my head. I don't, I'm not going to do it in like real life, but you ever like think about crazy shit in your mind? I mean, yeah, but like... An old lady walking across your street and you're just like... <laughs> in your car. You ever picture stuff like that? Was that you going back and forth? Oh, yeah, like yeah. so many times. Yeah, so like you hit her and then you run back over and then you run back over. Basically and... until it's like not a bump. Like I want to work her into the pavement. Right. <laughs> But that's just stuff you think about. It's like normal stuff. I mean, I don't think about stuff like I'll I'll have a an intrusive thought here or there. <laughs> sure, yeah. You know, like I see a guy on a bike and I go, <laughs> he should have a car, and so I'm gonna hit him. <laughs> yeah. On the bike. We're like Real quick. Squeezing the parakeets until their eyes pop out like little seeds at the pet store. Yeah. No, <laughs> I don't. I don't. Yeah. So see, quick. I don't. I don't have those thoughts. Oh, really? No. Uh -oh. Like wringing a ferret out, like a bath towel. <laughs> Uh, it's funny. Life is a funny, funny game we play. <laughs> it's not a game. <laughs> I'm losing. <laughs> oh, God, there's a Big Sean song on here. Yeah, you don't got to worry about that anymore, man. What? What's the deal? I burned another bridge, Riley. <laughs> I burned another bridge. And this is the Big Sean bridge? Yeah. What happened? Well, he invited me over to his house, post Dolly World, and I thought, <laughs> all right, I had two boxes of wine. And I thought it'd be fun to pull out the five fingers with the knife trick that I often do. Yeah, you're always doing that. Yeah. Well, Big Sean don't like blades. Okay. And I chopped a little bit of mine off. Your finger? Yeah. Okay. And it made him sick. Yeah. And he threw up. Yeah. And then I went full jackass and I made his puke into an omelet and ate it. <laughs> <laughs> and I took, you know what? A lot of the times I am so confused why people want to burn a bridge <laughs> with me. This time I get it. 
Yeah, I would. Uh, yeah, I went way too far. That's too. You far. do not cook someone's puke in their own house. I crossed the line. Yeah, absolutely. Let alone with part of your finger chopped off. I blood, can't imagine there yeah. was no none of your own blood mixed with his puke. A lot of blood, and I I threw in some other shit in there too. Fingernails, nose hairs, tears. You made a human omelet. Basically. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. I mean, it was food he digested earlier, so some of it was still food. But a lot of the ingredients were parts of myself, and I thought it would ah, whatever witchcraft and mysticism and stuff. I've been into some freaky shit, but you know what? I cannot blame Sean Don for not really messing around with me no more. Yeah, I can't blame him either. Also, what is Dolly World? Dolly World? Yeah. It's like an amusement park in Tennessee. It's not Dollywood? It might be. Oh. <laughs> but it, to me, it's like a world of Dolly Parton, so <laughs> it's kind of up for whatever interpretation. Right. Okay. It's yeah. like Disney World. It's Dolly's World. No, it's not Disney Wood. Right. It's Disney World. You say something anti-Semitic? Disney Wood. Anyway. Well, I'm sorry about that. That's whatever, man. Like I said, I totally get it. I'm really coming around to a new era of understanding myself, but not changing my ways. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm still going to cook up a puke omelet if you puke in front of me. But you understand that why Big Sean burned that bridge. Totally. Yeah. It is disgusting. Yeah. It's almost violent. Yeah. Borders abusive. Yeah, it's like serial killer shit. <sighs> so at least you know, but you're not going to change anything about yourself. I can't. I am <laughs> uncontrollable. Okay. <laughs> I am uncontrollable. What's that sound? Is there a clicking sound? Yeah. Nope, it's all right. No, nope, nope, nope. no, 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 it was just a squirrel. Oh, okay. We're good. Jesus Christ. Jesus. What? 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 <laughs> I, okay, so I'm not allowed to drink before the video anymore. <laughs> no. Jesus Grant, let's Christ. get into the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Were you sure she wasn't the oldest woman ever? <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is kind of like, you know, you have a couple kids, you find out you hate them, and you don't want to parent them. And so instead of running away, you can just have like 67 other kids, and then no one's going to blame you for being a bad parent. That's an insane route to take. I know, but I'm saying it's an alternative <laughs> route. I'm not saying it's a good route. Maybe she loved children so much that she was like, as many as I can have, please. Yeah, sure looks like she loved children. She looks like a piece of driftwood. <laughs> Looks like an oak tree that's been floating down the river for 108 years. Yeah. I'm gonna start putting my hostage videos as annotations and other famous songs. That's low key. That sounds awesome. That'd be like the genius killer. I could totally yeah. see that popping up on yeah, Netflix. Yeah, exactly. Like the, the genius killer. It's like a yellow background. Oh, I could totally see the whole thing. The thumbnail for it, everything. So. And I'm the one that's hostage, by the way. I don't have other people hostage. How did you get the videos then? You hit record and sit down and then I just edit the part where I'm sitting down. How do you know when you're gonna be a hostage and like... It's just like a self tape at home it's like a story and who's taking you hostage bad guys i don't know you know they're it's kind of like the faceless evil so you don't see them it's just you yeah and talking about how you're trapped or something yeah that's not really like a real hostage video then absolutely i ask for money you ask for money yeah from to who? be released from my family and stuff fifty thousand dollars or his head comes off like a fucking dandelion <laughs> pop pop motherfucker i'll say, i say that off camera you say that off camera then and then i go to the seat and i sit down and i go <sighs> Yeah, if you're listening, I'm really hungry. I'm scared. I just want to be good and live. I say that kind of shit, and then they send me money. Bada bing! So you're extorting your own family by playing both a hostage victim and a person holding someone hostage. Those are kind of the two parts you need, yeah. <laughs> yeah, strangely... Pretty brilliant. <laughs> you want me to do it with your parents? No, no, thank you. Because I know you will keep all of the money. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I just need your bank account information. Yeah, no, no, we're not doing this. <laughs> uh, you did this last time with the whole, with the Nike, the dry fit thing. Gray tracky, gray tracky. What? <laughs> <laughs> you all right? Yeah. Yawning's a sign that your body's not getting enough oxygen. It's also a sign that I'm tired of your bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> really? Woo, hey, listen, you keep me honest. You know, I like working with you, man.
Uh, I'll tell you what. Okay. I'm I mean, always on my toes with this one. Yeah. If I ever you start know, to like. Never know what's coming next. Unpredictable. This guy over here. But God, I love it. You know. It's you know, a, if I bother you. It's a hoot. You, it's a holler. It's a you racket. Know, if, I, if I start to bother you or something, you can just talk to oh, me. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, you do. Bother the shit out of me. <laughs> I don't, don't want to be a burden. That's why I love you, you know. What? This is so confusing. I don't want to be yeah. a burden in the workplace. Terrible worker. Super annoying. But God, that's why we love you over here, right? I just wanted to be a good part of the team. We pay you way too much. Honestly. We should dock that pay. But we won't. You know. Got to make sure you're all right. You know. We care about you over here, but God, God, you're terrible at working and uh, hard to be around. Nobody likes you. But, oh, man, we, yeah, 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 eh, working with this guy, you know, I'd rather, rather, rather end my life, you know, end my shit. I'd rather end it right here. Man, but, I don't God, want you to think Even about- being around him for 10 minutes, I'd rather crash my car into a wall. I'd rather burn alive. Then, then sit with you and have lunch once. But, God. I don't want to be Wouldn't annoyed. be the same without you over here. Be better. What? <laughs> <laughs> just would. It would be better if you were not here. It would be better. If like, you, you mean here, here or you mean... Just in general, man. <laughs> oh, on this earthly plane. <laughs> I'm just busting your balls, but no, seriously, if you were not alive, the world would be a better place. So. In the UK, it is illegal to handle salmon suspiciously. <laughs> you're kind of walking around, you're like... <laughs> he's like holding the salmon and he's like... Whoop, just kidding. And they're like, <laughs> something's up with this guy. It is illegal to handle salmon suspiciously. Mm. That's a sus salmon handler over there. <laughs> Somebody check on that salmon handler. There's something suspicious about him. Three, two, one. Fake. Fake. This is real. Bullshit. Handle salmon suspiciously? How do they tell? <laughs> what is suspicious about handling salmon? <laughs> like, what could you do? Do you have the origins here? Yeah, this is the Salmon Act of 1986. <laughs> Six? It's not even old. <laughs> we had Ferraris and cocaine, but you couldn't handle the salmon suspiciously. I always wear these pants. I like those. Hey, I only brought a couple pairs. Okay. I didn't ask how many pants you brought. I said I like these ones. Oh, I've thank seen you. you wear them before. I do wear them quite a bit. Thank you. That's all you had to say. Okay, dude. Fuck, dude. Jesus, Just man. keep it moving. I yeah, don't know he's been harping so hard. He's oh, harping he on it. I'm not. Here's what I packed. No, I packed four just... pairs of socks and two gold watches. It's like shut up. <laughs> Three gold watches. Oh, sorry. Two silver. <laughs> One platinum. Stop! I'm trying to help. I'm doing a thing. I'm trying to help. He always pushes people away. He does. <laughs> Better. I feel like I know what he looks like when he orgasms. Let's listen to the next song. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was alive during that era. Lapels, chest hair, gold chain, little dinghy boat for my bigger boat. <laughs> Wait a minute. A little boat for your bigger boat is called a dinghy. I understand that, but you were yeah. painting quite but like the lapels, the chest hair, all yep. that stuff, and then all of a sudden it seems like a little know. dinghy boat. Yeah, it seems unrelated. I use the dinghy to run drugs from Cuba to the Keys. <laughs> I leave the bigger boat anchored out in the Gulf. <laughs> when I'm done with the drugs, <laughs> I skip over to the big boat, party down, take off my piece. <laughs> Those are whippets. Um, <laughs> And then, boom, once I got just enough left to make a little profit, <laughs> restock, repeat. Hell of a life I would live back then. Just seemed like the first couple things were really aesthetics, what you would wear and whatever, sure. and then just took it somewhere else. It's a lifestyle. The lapels and the chest hair is just a doorway into it. She loving the crank. What are you doing with I this? Swear into- I'm just trying to appeal to the kids. All right, with the yeet thing. Yeah. Swerving the crank. I love it, cranky. Right? Nah, I don't. It didn't feel like the vibe. Do it this day. He made me do crank. He made me do crank. Christmas with the cranks. But it's neat. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mister Crank. <laughs> Here's a bottle of wine for the cranks. <laughs> doesn't say cranks that much. Granky? Does he say that more? Granky? No. Yeah, yeah. Grunk. Nope. <laughs> she swore by my crank. You were never brave enough to surf, but I've tried it, and I can tell you what, it's hard. That's not easy. What he's doing right there. It might look easy to you. You're someone who just kind of sits, stands on the beach. You're scared of the sharks and the fish and the octopus and the jellyfish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it seems like the digs were kind of unnecessary to prove your point about how surfing is hard. Like, I'm saying I've, I've, done, I've done it. No, I know, and I haven't, but like it just seems Anyways. like that tangent was just really to like put me down. <laughs> it didn't really have much to do with like what we're talking about. I mean, I guess. I don't know. I just feel like you kind of do this a lot. Like, I cut out a lot of them, but like... I don't know, man. It's just like, focus on what we're doing, you know? Like, we're just trying to guess his favorite artist. Like, you don't have to do that to me. Like, I'm not part of it. Say you're scared of surfing. I'm scared of surfing. Okay, (laughs) okay. (laughs) 
Andy Warthog. <laughs> Man, did any other animal like get the shorter end of a stick on the name? Warthog. Think of another animal that got like a worse name. Ooh, Warthog is bad. That's, let's think, let's think. A terrible, like a butterfly. What's butter about it? <laughs> What's butter? <laughs> Maybe they taste like butter. I never have thought about that. I'm not yeah. joking. This is the first time I'm thinking <laughs> yeah. butter is part of butterfly. Yeah, it's weird. Maybe the scientist's name was Brent Butter. What's up? My name is Brent Butter. I discovered this fly nah. thing. <laughs> No? Nope. I think I'm going to call it the butterfly because it's kind of my <laughs> last name mixed with like it's also kind of flying around. So like I feel like that's pretty like clever and shit like that. Mm -hmm. No, nah, but like I for real found this weird ass <laughs> shit that was like flying around. And it also like starts out as a worm and then it turns into like a mummy and then it like gets to like fly around and be like has like pretty ass wings. And like my name being Brent Butter, yeah. I feel like I kind of have dibs on like <laughs> naming it the butterfly. For sure. Because then like I'll be remembered forever because of my namesake, yeah. this beautiful creature the butterfly i mean that's super fly so congratulations on your recent discovery dude thanks bro nah for real like that's my third animal so far so like, what were the first two animals you discovered well i found this like weird ass shit with like some horns on it or whatever at first i was gonna call it the brentoceros <laughs> but then i forgot about like my boy ryan who had like yeah. done a lot of shit for me and so i was like you know what cheers to you bro like this one's for you i'm gonna go with the rhinoceros I so think. that's like an homage to the homie yeah and that's like selfless type shit so now it's like my time to kind of like shine and i'll put yeah. like my name out there in this new Show. animal that i found <laughs> i get it which is the butterfly like brent butterfly but there's, there's still one more oh the other one yeah shark <laughs> That's it, fuck. Yeah. at the apple store in toronto watching porn <laughs> yep <laughs> Oh, in 2014. All right. Tory Lanez, Jack Harlow, Quavo, and Travis Scott. Bunch of suspects here. Yeah, we got Tory Lanez, Toronto native. Is this a crime, by the way? <laughs> Can you watch porn in public? Like, if you were out, like, just watching porn in the mall, you don't think they'd kick you out? I think that the cops at the library would be much more active if this was a crime. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are always sleepy. <laughs> Three, two, one. D, Travis Scott. D, Travis Scott. D, Travis Scott. Okay. Yes. Uh, I remember this tweet, that's why. But I was trying not to know so mm. that I didn't throw it off to you. Nice. Because I thought maybe you would pick Tory Lanez. I thought about it, trust me, right. but he would tweet something even worse. About to have sex in this Cracker Barrel or something like that, and you'd be like, great, Tory, great. Or he'd be like, check out my new song. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry, hold on guys, I gotta talk to my shrink. Hello, I have a lot of stuff I wanna talk about. <laughs> you can't say shrink anymore. Why can't I say that? It's demeaning. You have to say little psychologist. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, little psychologist. <laughs> All right, here we go. Blank store playlist we got. Yeah, we got Gucci Gang by Lil Pong. Mm -hmm. Gucci Two Time by Gucci Mane. Green Gucci Suit featuring Future by Rick Ross and Future. Yep. Gucci Flip Flops by Lil Yachty and The Bad Baby. Mm -hmm. And Gucci On My Bag by Mir. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Two one. GameStop. The g <laughs> <laughs> All flightless birds. I have an affinity for. Yes. Mm -hmm. Name three more flightless birds. Go. Uh, flamingo. Uh, <laughs> they fly. <a> weasel. <laughs> uh, shoot. I cracked under the pressure. One the more. One more. Uh, clownfish. Uh, got it. Got it. A clownfish. <laughs> <laughs> Clown fish. I think. Cool. You know what the biggest weasel is? That piece of shit, Martin Shkreli. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good one. But it's a wolverine. Oh, cool. Wolverines are weasels. Oh, cool. Yeah. What about red pandas? Are those weasels? <laughs> I'm asking a question. Don't laugh at me. You think a red panda's a weasel? <laughs> If a wolverine's a what? It's a panda. It's a bear. Okay, panda bears aren't bears either. <laughs> what are they? They're cats. <laughs> <laughs> At home watching YouTube videos of car crashes caught on a dash camera. Gonna drip or drown. <laughs> if I miss this and drip or drown, I'm gonna lose my mind. At home watching, I can't even imagine this in a gunna flow. <laughs> At home watching YouTube videos of car crashes caught on a dash camera. I love dash cam footage. <laughs> Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I like that genre of video and grocery store fights. That's, yeah. that's my go-tos, you know? I like casino fights too. Those mm. are pretty good. Because when people are down bad and they start throwing 
fist. They don't care whether they live or not. Right. Also, fast food restaurant fights. Yeah. Because the workers get involved. Oh, yeah. They don't care. They don't they're they're making shit. like $7 an hour in there. They're like, I can lose this job. I don't really care. <laughs> they're throwing punches. They're grabbing people, throwing them over the counter. Uh, putting their heads in the deep fryer. Dunking soda all over them. <laughs> Three, two, one. Fake. Fake. These lyrics are fake. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was about to have a heart attack if they were real. I've got a question for you. Sure. Who is Pontius Pilate? Pontius Pilate, he was like the Roman leader who executed Jesus Christ. Really? Yeah. Huh. Why? I don't know. You just knew the name? Yeah, I saw it in a show. They said, fucking Pontius Pilate. It's a fucking Pontius Pilate. They called someone it and it felt very cutting. Right. But like, I didn't know. And I'm like scared kind of to ask the whole world who it is. So I thought I'd just ask you in private, being a religious man. Yeah, this is not in private though. Wow. We are filming a video. Yeah, but I mean, they're going to see it later and whatever. Yeah, sure. It's Pontius Pilate. And by the way, it's spelled like Pilate, not like pilot. Like he wasn't a pilot. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I mean, that was kind of my follow-up question. I, yeah, I figured yeah. that was where you're going to go with it. But yeah. yeah, it's just spelled like P-I-L-A-T-E. What if I was the Poncho Pilate? And I like flew for Delta Airlines, but I always wore a poncho because I didn't like the windshield. I love that. Yeah. I think that's really, well, you need the windshield still. No, you're no? fine. Goggles. <laughs> Goggles and a poncho. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 600 miles an hour. They go faster than that, don't they? I don't know. Yeah, I guess I'm I don't guessing. need it. You said it so confidently. 547 to 575. Hey, cool. this guy knows speed. Planes. Yeah. Those are just planes on commercials, though. All right. <laughs> <laughs> they go slower for those. They got to fill them. You know? Slow that thing down. <laughs> How am I ever supposed to get that? What's it going? 600 miles an hour? Give me like more like 547. Jesus, people are never going to know. People are going to wonder if that's even a plane. <laughs> So they shoot commercials, right? Yeah. Come on, give me another take on that big bird. Where are my extras? Now that's how you shoot a commercial for planes. Am I right, brothers? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know what happened. Do you have any paper towels around here? Screenshot this for a chance to win.